All opinions expressed by the program participants are solely their own opinions and do not reflect the opinions of Upscale Love for You. The program participants... Opinions are based on the information that they consider from their own knowledge. No expressions or accuracy is related to upscale love for you. This is your girl, Dr. Fabulous, and we really want to know, are you more romantic during the holiday season than you normally are? Tell us on Tantalizing Talk Thursday. Um, Millie's hand was up, and then Miss Bradley, I'm gonna come back to you. She want them crisp bills. Don't give her no wrinkled up bills. Who are you talking get about? Crisp bills to you? No, I don't. I don't like for a person to give me a monetary gift. Yeah, I want them to buy. I want them to buy me something because I know they put some thought into it. Miss Millie, um, I don't have a rule per se. I just. Because God, I am blessed and I'm grateful. I have all I need for is clothing, tangible things. So mm -hmm. I prefer a person to listen at me while I talk or watch me if they're my significant other and know that you can't go buy me a purse. I sell purses. I get any kind I want. You can't go buy me jewelry. I can, unless it's some special kind that you had you created it for me, especially for me, not just mm -hmm. anything. So I rather a gift that you, as you stated, Dr. Fabulous, that you got to put some thought into it. It could be writing a note or poem mm -hmm. and put it in a box and wrap I it agree. up and give it yep. to me. It means more to me than you going and buy something that I already got that I'm going to put in the closet and probably in a few weeks or a month or two, I'll be done, gave it to somebody else. There you go. Mm -hmm. and, and, and think that's about that's it. Think about how you going. get what our feelings and what mm -hmm. we got and how we do things together and then create me a gift out of that. It don't have to be a million dollars or money, money, money. Just think about it. Or in some cases, like the gift that I'm supposed to be getting is something that I've been wanting for about four years now. So, and he heard me talk about it and then he asked me, what is it? And I, once I explained it, he said, okay. Well, you'll be able to get it. Okay. So he thought about what I was saying. It ain't nothing for me. It's something for that I need to do other stuff with. Gotcha. All right. But you know what? With that being said, she said, put a note in a box. Well, you know, when children, and, and they say that um, when children are misbehaving all year long and then the holidays come and they're expecting all these elaborate gifts and you go, and wrap up some beautiful boxes. I mean, make them over the top gorgeous. And when they open them up, you know, you can put some rocks or some stones in there. And, but when they open them up and they peel it out and it says, respect, respect your parents, respect your elders. And you put things in that, I guarantee you their behavior will change and because some it. kids will gauge themselves on behavior to what they're going to get and what they're not going to get. 
ask that old oldest daughter of mine. She already know what time it is. And Douglas, your hand is up. Uh, yes. Um, and actually, um, this question kind of evolves as you go along in life. Uh, right now, I try to get my kids to get just put something on paper. You, you know, I want to see the handwriting, you know, mm -hmm. copy a poem or something and, and give it to me. Because uh, I found uh, in my grandmother's possessions, when her son wrote her when he was in the Korean War. Mm, and so, oh, you wow. know, I have that document. I got a letter that I, I wrote my mom. Um, in 84 when I first went off to school and, and you know so those things are, are what I would like now uh, let's see my mom passed in 87 and we found a tape recording of her sending out a, a Christmas uh, she she was a nurse uh, so she this particular year she had to work on Christmas and this is back in what I guess the early 80s, the tape recorders yeah. were portable. VH1. And so she um, she recorded a uh, Christmas message to us before she went to, to work. And we found that like 20 years after she passed. Wow. Oh my goodness. So, wow. What did it say? How did it feel? How did it sound? Like, how did it feel hearing her voice again? Well, and then I gave it to my big sister, and she doesn't know where it is now. Oh. But mm -hmm. no, to actually, um, I didn't realize it was my mother's voice because it had been so long. Mm -hmm. But then, you, you know, the more I listened to it, the more I, I, I could remember her voice and uh, her saying, you know, <laughs> tell me to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> she already knew you. Ooh. That was your mom. <laughs> right. She knew that memory. <laughs> so stuff yeah, like you said your so, sister so lost it. Here. Um, well, for Thanksgiving, actually, uh, my sisters came up and spent Thanksgiving with me. Um, like I was telling so, some people, the gift of them coming up with me and my sister cook and to have a pot of collard greens simmering all night and spread throughout the house, man. Well, so, I'm yeah. glad. Memories. Yeah, so that's why I said, yeah, the memories, because uh, what you spend on them, you know, you can buy the most expensive gifts. They they soon forget it, but mm -hmm. you, you know we're going. It's circling back to the time, you know, just time, just being in someone's presence and just enjoying those moments. I want to piggyback on that. I, I, you asked me what my rules are. I think my rules for gifts is uh, um, games, board games, some type of games that when we're all to get together, we can all have a good time. So if I could accumulate gifts of games that everybody could participate in, that would be that would be nice. Right. So I'm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna make sure I get that address and I'm gonna send you a board game. Because when you come on down to the city country, you're gonna have a great time. Uh -huh. One of the games that you can play and it's free is um, Jeopardy online. All you do is um, Google it, uh, mm -hmm. pick a category. You can do Disney, you can do food, you can do whatever. And you sit around and just play and have your teams and play it all online. Yeah, no that, that sounds fun. I, I would like that. You know what I want to say this, um, Dr. Fabulous, you talked about, you know, wrapping a big gift of a pretty box. And when your kids act bad all year long you give them a box of, of bricks i remember my brother my mom set up these all these gifts for him for christmas and she and he opened them and he was like oh i got this and i got this mm -hmm. and after he opened them she said you see everything he didn't have, i want to open now he wanted to want to tear up open the toy or whatever she said nope she put them all in the in the in the retail store bag they came in we gonna take this shit back <laughs> and <laughs> And she took it back with him, and he he watched her take every gift back to the store. Mm. <laughs> and no. then he watched her get her money back, and then he watched her buy stuff for herself. Oh, Ooh, that's a lesson. <laughs> that's a lesson learned. But I I like that part when they reading respect. What is respect mm -hmm. and love? 
and kindness. And so they get all these beautiful boxes, but on the inside of it is words, something that they can read and learn that this is what you got to do. Okay. You had a kid that killed his mother because he, she, he didn't, she told him she wasn't going to buy him one of those virtual headsets, video games, whatever, uh -huh. Meta Worlds. He killed his mother, shot his mother, killed him. Wow. I think he was 10, 10 years old. That is sad. Mm, mm -hmm. mm -mm. Okay. Um, that just sparked that when you say you're not going to give a kid something imagine they open up a box of uh, pretty boxes and hear and see a word respect or they see a word or some rocks or whatever <coughs> and these kids nowadays uh, the way they react and I, I you'll be afraid to give them a word right <laughs> no, I, won't be, I won't be afraid of nothing we we don't, we who, who don't gonna leave the body the, bag the gift of the belt growing up that's mm -hmm. why they like that Mm. Right. You, you see, they never had the gift of the belt. That is exactly why they're like that. Right. I know for I sure. <clears throat> yeah, I know for sure. At least like five times on end. I can remember my mom not took something back that she bought me for Christmas, and I had to watch it. <clears throat> not only did I have to watch it, but she promised me up and down that I'm not getting shit next year for Christmas. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> but that next year, I found out that hey, look. My mama is Santa Claus. So why is she telling me there's a Santa Claus if Santa Claus is not the one returning his own shit? So <laughs> when, when she took that stuff back that last year, she said, are you happy now? Look what you did. This is your own actions. You don't get shit for Christmas. And I said, well, mom, I'm pretty sure whatever you just got me in return I'm going to grow into next year and you're going to have to get it for me anyway. Are oh, you so smart, <laughs> smart, 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 smart kid. Smart. I would have popped it in your mouth. Yeah. As stupid as it bricks. No, my mom did pop me in my mouth. You feel me? <laughs> she did do that. But at the same time, it's like, yo, why are we pushing these so-called fictitious figures? Oh, I don't do we, we didn't do the Santa Claus in my house. They, we celebrated Jesus' birthday. That's how I did it. It wasn't, okay. there wasn't Santa. We just said, you know, this is Jesus's birthday. And he, you know, yeah, I spent it like that. We didn't do Santa. It was oh, Jesus's right. birthday and I was, um, your gifts came from mom and dad. On the exactly, tree. exactly. And this is what we show, remind people that we love them. And um, so although we'd show them all year long, this is this reminder, even we, we don't see often and we don't see it all, just that, hey, I love you. Yeah, that was, um, it was like, oh, I don't believe in Santa Claus. Like, shit, as hard as I work. No, nah, that came from daddy. Exactly. That one little oh, guy, that's Claus. the innocence of the child. No, you don't want my son to hear that. Wait, eight, uh, when I was eight years old, and I remember getting a eight or nine, I had got the keys to my mom's car and, um, <laughs> Because she she wanted me to help her with groceries, and normally I go to the trunk to get the groceries out. But this time she's like, "No, no, the back seat." So after I got the groceries in and stuff, I got a key later on and opened up the trunk. You saw, saw the, the you saw the presents. Gifts. And then on Christmas, I saw the same ones, and then it was like, "Oh, okay, yeah, okay, mom, the Santa Claus." Because one one we didn't have a chimney. So how could he get in the house if we didn't have a chimney? He left the door yeah, the open, Dad. Yeah, we had to stay up and, and not give him some. Yeah, I, I feel, I, the person, I felt bad for lying to my kids, but my oldest son, Malik, he was like, we go to Walmart. There was a, He was like, why does a wa the Santa at Walmart look different from the one at the mall? And if Santa knows I live in Illinois, why does he take some of my stuff to Texas to Grandma Ketching's house? And then his, uh, then when they went to his school, the <laughs> private school, Little Saints of God, they said, we don't do Santa Claus here, but we do do, you know, celebration of jesus christ we celebrate christmas she said we don't promote santa here but if that's what you want to do in your household just know they can they ain't gonna hear it from us and i'm like i'm tired of lying no we'll celebrate jesus and um these gifts come from me this came from your grandma this came from so and so we're going to celebrate this is a a reason to be thankful and appreciate right. 
and, to that's, get and that's really all you can do like you really like I feel like kids these days are super fickle right um for any of us older folks out there that know what it's like to uh, be upset if you got grounded that you couldn't go outside these kids you can't ground them from going outside because they ain't never been outside in the first place so what you're doing is you're taking away their experiences and their memories and they're all stuck to a tablet and these kids don't really understand how fickle they are because of the simple fact that they are being lied to constantly by their own tablets, right? And so as parents, we come around and we double, we double down on that. We go, oh, Santa's gonna get you something great as long as you keep your grades. Well, if Santa was Santa, then it shouldn't be a qualifier for not getting a lump of coal, you know? But, but because are, Santa Claus, he just drop off the gifts. He don't do shit. I ain't gave Santa Claus <laughs> cookies in years. <laughs> Santa Claus ain't had cookies in years. And you know Ooh. what was crazy? Every time I made Santa Claus cookies, he didn't even, he ain't even eat them. So either my cooking was bad or he never was there. That's I'm, gonna, I'm just saying. That's it. That I'm just, I'm just saying. It's the child innocence. I stay up. You know how much I hate making cookies Christmas Eve? I have to stay up and make them darn sugar cookies with my kids. And how then make sure I put them in milk. Huh? How old are your kids? I have a, a um, nine, three, and one. Oh, you so, have baby babies. Them some hellified numbers. Nine, three, and one. I'm going to show you. Oh, them. my God. Ladies, oh, my God. Ladies, 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 Lady T, Lady T, to my twenty-seven and twenty-one. Yes. <laughs> no, nah. y'all, Lady T, go on and give it to him. Spill the tea, Lady T. What's the tea, Doctor Fair? You know what the tea is. Doctor she Taylor said tea. nine, three, and one, and thirty-one, right? And thirty. Mm. And thirty. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking of foreign you language, I'm that's the baby. Like a foreign you. language to me. So I love it. That's why I always say she's the best mom in the world because if she can come from a 30-year-old down to a nine-year-old to a three-year-old to a one-year-old, girl, you a bad girl. Bad. But okay, we don't move it right along. What'd you say, Doug? Uh, we that. don't move right along. To Told you it's live in the 305, baby. You see, you gotta mm -hmm. come visit. It's too live for me. <laughs> okay, we're going wait, wait, to. Um, my, my daughter uh, is uh, 21. Uh -huh. And recently I told her, I was like, I've called her my baby girl forever. I asked her, I was like, what if you're no longer the baby girl? She said, I'm killing everybody. <laughs> I oh, believe it. Douglas, Douglas, we don't want. Mm. She we said, gonna, we're going to, how do you say, we're going to press. And pass the button on to Dr. Feel Good, and maybe he can give us that insight on how to feel good during the holiday season. And welcome, everyone. If I didn't get a chance to say welcome, welcome, Bridget. I see you down there. Welcome, 404, whoever you are. That's why I say we need a name, but welcome, welcome, everyone. Okay, Dr. Feel Good. <clears throat> <clears throat> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Feelgood here. You know my name. You know my Steve's. Um, this has been a decent show. Uh, I'm going to say I was going to talk about music, what, set, what sets it off for you for the holidays, but Dr. Fab already covered that. Um, everybody. I just told them to put, a, put their favorite song in the chat because I need yeah, to know for next week Thursday gonna... for the virtual. We didn't I get it. We just that, got though. one holy night. Right. No, I, I put in my mind. Everybody know every every black person know when I say in my mind, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, I don't. In in my <laughs> mind. Silent night by the temptation. <laughs> oh. Sorry. I found that. Silent thing. night, temptations. Come on. That's that's like you need to turn in your 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 BP card. <laughs> Well, your, I'm your listen, black person I'm card. You, all you ain't colored in, no more. Cause I don't know what in my mind is. Please. Silent night, temptation. Silent oh, night, temptation. Yeah, that was the first night video I posted. Christmas. And all through the. Do let us know by voice to men. Creature with service. 
not even a mouse. In my mind. Come on, fellas. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got it now. Bro, I don't even know that song. See, Dante don't even know it, so I don't feel bad. He ain't but 12. He ain't but 12, so what do you expect? <laughs> yo, what you mean? Like, yo, how, like, how old you think I am? Mary 12. He said 12. He said 12. I heard 12. If you don't know Silent Night by The Temptations, you about 12. I didn't, I didn't get the <laughs> no. in my mind part. If you had like, said that's like the bridge talk. or yeah. something. Uh, the the in my mind part talking means, yeah. in the beginning. He was it's talking in the beginning. In the beginning. Okay. It, okay. Melvin okay. Franklin comes on and says, was, it was the night before Christmas and all through the house. Through the house. I remember that. You were stirring. Not even in the mouth. We got it. I got okay, it. So, now. Yeah, now, right. now I can hear that song. That kicks off black folks criminal. Well, I'm, sure. <laughs> I'm gonna hey. keep saying it. Let, let it snow by boys and men. Oh, we, we no, expectations. Sit your ass on the class. Well, well you know he black because he said criminals. He forgot a whole criminal. couple of syllables. Hey, hey, criminals. Mur- 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 I don't hear anything. Now, he can but, um, the biggest thing is though is that everybody has a good memory of a song during the holiday i'm not like you said because we got kwanzaa ain't no kwan we got kwanzaa songs mm-hmm. uh, sounds of blackness that. okay but we all have a we all have a song in our heart that's like remind takes you back to a more pleasant time you know in today's commercialized world because everything is commercialized right you you made a lot of sense mr dante uh what part of new york you from i grew up in harlem grew up in harlem where hun uh hun off from fair street oh you was near the fosters or King actually Tower, i was in the fosters i was in yeah. the fosters i was in um building 1350. Yeah, so well so you so you know I know where you at. <laughs> you know I know where you at. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, you, you got the look you got a location, right? The the towers was, was two streets down. We're talking about Schaumburg. Yeah. No, I thought they changed the name to Foster the King. King Tower. No, sir. Oh, bring it on back to the 305, y'all. No, anyway. sir. No, sir. And, I mean anyway. the, the King Tower is at Schaumburg. I mean, that's that's okay. two blocks down, that's right by the corner store. Yeah, one fifteenth in Lennox. Oh, okay. You was three blocks away, so you know, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm from Queensbridge. My my people lived up in uh, lived up in Harlem, uptown. But anyway, okay, Mr. Dante, what was what what song reminded you of the good times you had growing up? Yo, to be honest with you, I'm not even gonna lie. Like the same songs around Christmas was the same songs around Fourth of July. You feel me? It was. It was an all 1970s, early 1980s uh, Black people R&B. There was no Christmas music in my household. Occasionally, we would watch The Grinch. And then even, even that, even that one that you feel me, it was just, it was just all soul music throughout any of the holidays because my family had a... Um, a unique ability to turn even something like Christmas mm. into a 24 pack of Heineken back behind the builders <laughs> in a playground. You know what I mean? So it wasn't it wasn't your typical Christmas, right? Like all the kids would get up and we'd go like maybe eight o'clock in the morning. We opened up all the gifts and at 8:30, we was out in the playground. And you know I mean, like Unc Unc had. He had the he had the shit going on the grill. You feel me? Auntie Gloria, then she done broke out a couple of cases of beer already. Like Christmas was literally fourth of July for us. I mean, and um it's to me it's a weird experience, but it also it sounds fun to me. Say, Sound no, fun. it was it yeah. was you know it was super fun. I remember one Christmas, man, I fell off the monkey bars and I dislocated my shoulder. Oh my goodness. But <laughs> Yeah, hey, but look, hey, yo, trust that, me, everybody got Christmas. a monkey bar story. <laughs> yeah, that was, I mean, that that was Christmas. So it wasn't the typical black um, Christmas. It was, yo, 
Ain't nobody got enough room in their house to actually put a whole ass Christmas tree. So yo, we like yo, we you gonna meet up work. all at grandma house. Yeah, we gonna meet up at grandma house. Everybody gonna get yeah, their gifts. And everybody get down after that. Yeah, because grandma gotta take a nap by one. You feel me? Like <laughs> that, was, that was that's what it was. And that's what we would do. We make it work. I remember one year, I my my sons wanted some expensive video games for Christmas. I couldn't afford what they wanted. So I ended up, I, what I did is I went to Blockbuster and I rented the games they wanted and I uh, wrapped that shit up in a, and some wrapping paper threw a bow on it. And they had the games to play that Christmas. <laughs> you know, so then we woke up and that's just it's what it was. We make it do what it do for the moment. Yeah, the fact Definitely. that you bought a Blockbuster, how old is your kids? <laughs> I rented, not bought. I rented the games. No, I'm just saying the fact that the fact that you went to Blockbuster. How old is your kids? Twenty-seven and twenty-one. Okay, so the twenty, the twenty-seven-year-old might have a resemblance of what Blockbuster was. The twenty-one-year-old, twenty-one, should not have any clue. No, they they remember going to Blockbuster and like we remember it was an hostel. Yeah, we remember. They remember to a (laughs) T. That's so, remember. Okay, no, okay, Miss Sandy. Memory card. They didn't have a memory card, so they had to only replay it, keep on replaying because they didn't have a memory card. Cassandra, I what happened you. when you had to take them back, though? How did that work out? <laughs> As I said, like they didn't have a memory card, so they stayed in the room going to the the top level, and if they were to turn it off or do something, it goes right back down. So, um, you know what I. It, I, we take them back and then we probably rent them again. By then, I just probably bought them. But at that moment in time, it was like I could not, I didn't have it to buy it for them. Okay, but they but, still got their gain. That's what's up. <laughs> now, okay, had, okay, okay Miss Sandy. Oh, and, yeah. yeah. What, what, so, what song brought back memories to you? What song brought back memories to you? For me? Yeah. Um, it's Think about Jackson Five. You know, if it, if it was Jackson Five, Christmas thing, um, Mariah Carey, uh, Boys to Men. You know, I, I just like the kind of that that kind of old school kind of vibe. That's nice. So, what about you, Anson? Wake up! <laughs> I'm awake. I'm just just chilling. Um, I would say uh, Silver Bells by a few good men. That would be my Christmas song. A few good know. men. Yeah, a, f- a few good men. They did, hmm. they did a song called Silver Bells. Hmm. Between Let It Snow, oh, or right above Let It Snow, I I would choose that. Doctor Fab, what about you? What is it called, Anson? A few good men, Let It Snow. Okay. What about you, Doctor Fab? What brings back memories to you? I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Jackson Five, Michael Jackson. That was my song. Okay. okay. Miss Millie. Please come home for Christmas. Charles Brown. <laughs> hey, trust me, I got I got a play, I got my playlist with all with all those songs. I need that playlist. Let's see. Hey, um, wait, wait, um, did y'all realize that uh, "Players Ball" about by, by Outcast was their <laughs> Christmas song? I had no clue. I knew. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a Christmas song. Oh, I, oh, I, I to it. Put it I in. No the, clue, hey, yeah. Douglas, put it in the chat. Put it in the chat, Douglas. Let, let people let people pull it up. Okay, yeah. let me let me yeah. go around. I, I just and, did. MKW said, "What was your what song brought you about Christmas? Reminded you about Christmas? You can type it in the box." Well, Christmas for me, the Christmas song was um, "Dreaming of a White Christmas." But like I said before, Crimson. Which which one? The Temptations. Which, well, which, we which... talking about Christmas or Crimson? No, no, no. I'm dreaming. Dreaming, I'm dreaming of a white cri- crimmer. But um, what's that? <laughs> the white dude. I'm talking about the black Christmas song. 
No, no. Well, there, see, there's like, a, I was, was going to say, because... See, no, what I'm saying is for Christmas was the... What was that? Bean Cosby? Bean Cosby, yep. Um, mm, that, that brought yeah. in Christmas... The, the Christmas time. Right. But for, for Christmas, Christmas. But for Christmas, it was the Temptations. So... You, you know, know just the, like Dante, you know, he, he in the outcast mode because they just got together and popped yeah. some tops and stuff. You know, um yes, the drifters the drifters did White Christmas also. That's the one I I remember more than being being Crosby's, but that, that's my criminal one. <laughs> okay. Hey, you also you also know who did Christmas? Three Six Mafia. What did they oh, do? They was your mama the ho ho ho? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that's what it sounded like. You feel me? Like, <laughs> I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming of Whoa, white coming up with some <laughs> Christmas song to T T L C. But, but oh, y'all yeah, need to, uh, go grab that um naked twister game from Lady T. Oh, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, know what? Yeah. No, she didn't yeah, know yeah, yeah. Let me let me say something real quick. Go ahead. Right. I'm in the I'm in the cut. Whoever I just cut off off. Like Christmas, as we all should know, it's I mean, like it's not for the it's not for the 30 plus year olds. Christmas is for everybody that's younger than that age. Speak for yourself because and for me too. I know, cause I enjoy all of that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> why you not talking about? Baptize you three or five things. Yeah, I don't know why. I feel like this is so comfortable because I'm used to it. <laughs> I like my house. Talking about the baby. Crazy. So you, so you, you ladies, you go on. Make that child out of you, honey. I can make Jesus thing. Uh, uh. We ain't having that. Well, if, if y'all act right at, at the, the ball, act right. I don't even understand that language. And when I wear that uh, mistletoe belt buckle, y'all y'all need to act right and give me my yeah, gift. Right. My my guy. My guy. Come on, Douglas. <laughs> Douglas, you don't get a gift. You don't, you don't, don't, you don't do right during the holidays. Hey, don't worry about <laughs> it. Don't do right don't, period, so why don't change worry up about it. Douglas said a mistletoe, Dr. Fabulous. I heard him say mistletoe. You know, that's my thing too, Douglas. But um, no Douglas way. said, listen, y'all, all of you that were the late comers, Douglas said that for the holidays, he had them for three hours and then he changed it to four. So you all understand what Douglas is talking about. No, no normally it's be two. gone. No, I he said wanted normally to come it's through and be gone. Holidays. I'm lost. What I, is I, the I two, three, hours. four hour thing? What is that? I'm lost. What is that? He Douglas said he's paying you, he's paying you to you can get, you get the said, three hours yeah, then you, you got go. to you got to get gone. You ain't got to go home. <laughs> right. But you got to get up out of here. You so exactly. trifling. All right. Hey. Well, to my to my ladies. I mean to my ladies. Do y'all feel as though during the holidays, y'all take it up one level or not, regardless of whether a person notices or not? And if you do take it up a level or not, why can't you do that for the rest of the 360? See, I was when you say to... take it up a no, level. Okay. Are you speaking of looks? Or what are you talking about? No, us, us men don't, us, us men don't, us men don't care about looks. We're talking about, we're talking about sexually. Sexually. Oh, okay. No, okay. Dante, I'm a Sagittarius. I take it up all the time. I'm a ears. Oh, okay. I sure take okay, it up so, all the time. I, I, so a, Christmas is pretty much January eighth. Not me. I'm a creature of reaction. That's when they get the peppermint. Uh, favorite. I, I, I'm a creature. Oh, oh my goodness gracious! Oh my God. Okay, hey, that, that's what they put it on you with a horse cough drop in the uh, mouth. I dig it. I dig it. Hey, stocking no, stuffers. No, stocking see, stuffers. I, <laughs> so you're bringing out all types. See, the holidays. I, I'm a creature of reaction. I don't. I don't. I, I, I don't know what I might bring out. So I don't. I don't. I don't you know, might get the. You might get the Yule log, Miss Sandy. Hanson. Yo, yo. I haven't heard from you. What's your specialty for Christmas? For I, I didn't know what the, I didn't know what the question was, so I was I was just being quiet. Um, <laughs> Do you bring up your sex game on um, holidays? No, it's just you don't put your back into it. 
It's just I put my back into it all the time. Oh, I'm a firm believer in you're not gonna talk bad about me. Hey. What's a special <laughs> gift, Anson, that you would give your special one? He's not spreading disabilities out here. He's not spreading the disabilities out here. <laughs> you heard me, Anson? What's my special <laughs> gift I would give? I mean, yeah, without giving money, without give putting money in it. You got to be creative, Anson. It will always be something thoughtful. So whoever I'm dealing with, it will be something meaningful for them. Because you're um, Mike and put your back in it. <laughs> if that's what y'all she wants, that's what she'll get. Y'all, y'all that's ain't what no she wants. Hey, hey, I made some cougar earrings, Anson. Watch it up. What you say now? Hey. Hey. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of colds in people stocking this this Christmas. Hey, and I and I'm blaming all y'all, but on that note, we running low on <laughs> we running low on time. And as the great Melvin Franklin, the blue blue from Temptations would say, Merry Christmas. Hey man, just just before go you go, I gotta let you know you you can't blame all of them because you're gonna need some of them. Okay, you need some allies. So don't don't blame all of them. Just blame some. All right. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Doctor. Anybody, you know what? Y'all are y'all are wonderful people. And then and that's and I'm just sitting here and I'm just listening to what everybody just went through for the whole minute, even the time that I wasn't on. And mm. just like what she said, but everybody, what would you give somebody for Christmas that don't cost money? Hell, we giving it to each other right now. Yeah, we giving, it, <laughs> we giving it to each other that's right now. That's, that's what we get them for Christmas. Mm-hmm. Our feeling, our love, our joy, our heart, and our laugh. That's right. right. I like that. <laughs> I that appreciate that. it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we doing it right now. <laughs> All right. Well, you say, Douglas? I said, anybody giving out criminal poo poo? Go ahead, Doctor Fabulous. Please go ahead. You know what, <laughs> Douglas? I can't believe y'all asked him what he was saying. I mean, y'all, the fact you didn't get the first sign was good enough for me. <laughs> it, look, it went whoop, right on over my head. But I mean, anyway, you, you... everyone, I appreciate each and every one of you all for coming this evening and sharing with us your thoughts about the holiday season. And that was to gear you all up because next week, as I said, we can't be in the same city in the same town. So we're gonna come together for our virtual celebration Upscale Love for You. So please invite a friend. We are going to have live music. We're gonna have some games. We're gonna have some truth or dare kind of game so next week we're gonna take it up a notch dante for the grown and sexy so with that being said you got to look at it if you're not grown and sexy oh you might have to watch the recording but nevertheless next week is going to be our virtual celebration for upscale love for you invite a friend the only thing i can't do for you next week is allow you to taste my old pecan pie so oh, man anywho, also we'll play spin I'm, the bottle we're gonna play spin the bottle that might could be arranged we're gonna have some games we're gonna leave it to um lady t she says she do the naked twister <laughs> that what she said? i'm but down anywho we're going twister. to have games we're going to have entertainment you just as i said you just won't be able to taste the succulent turkey the the bubbly and all of that good stuff but we are going to have a great time so invite it invite a couple of people because you're going to see some things that you never saw before with a virtual party Lady, so with that get somebody said, in trouble <laughs> no, we're going to have you know it, I'm fun. Gonna... <laughs> so, yeah, y'all as see... I said, with that being said, Lady T, do you have anything else you would like to say, Special K? I just want to say thank y'all. I am so happy you're, you're a part of the family. And trust me, hang in there. We will make it worth your while. Oh, I thought Special she was going to say that she was expecting. Yes. I just want to thank everyone for participating tonight. I think the question tonight was great. I love how everybody interacted and told their stories all the way from childhood. So I hope it brought back good memories. And I won't see you guys next Thursday. I'll actually be on a cruise, but I'm going to try to tune in. But it sounds like you guys are going to have a lot of fun. 
And like Dr. Fabulous said, invite someone, the more the merrier. So everybody, if I don't see you next Thursday, have a wonderful holiday mm-hmm. and a merry right. Christmas. Likewise. And Thank you. Everyone, yes. we, we're hoping, we're keeping our fingers crossed that Lady T make it to the beautiful city of Hinesville for Christmas Day. And Special K, you know you right here in the city. You know where it's going to get turned. So with that being said, I'm going to sign off with my favorite happy holidays. And guess what, y'all? Smooches two times. Good night. Good night, y'all. Good night.